everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom skins in minecraft bedrock edition now i want to keep this in mind by saying minecraft bedrock edition does use the exact same skins as java edition you can install any java edition skin on minecraft bedrock edition just up front, I want to note that, and we're going to be linking out to our custom skin tutorial, how to make custom Minecraft skins. That works for Bedrock Edition. You'll just have to use this process of adding the skin to the game. That's the only difference, and yeah, that, that's kind of it. That's the only difference. However, let's go ahead and first, we need to sign into the Minecraft account here. So as you can see, I'm not signed in, so I do need to sign in to the Minecraft account. Um, for some reason, this is uh, a little glitchy there, as you can see, and it's logged into a uh, Minecraft account that actually doesn't even have this version of Minecraft, but we're just going to look past that for now. So let's go ahead, and once you've got signed in here, you'll have a dressing room button. Go ahead and click on that, and in here is where you can change your skin. Now, there are, you know, skins that you can purchase, but we don't want to do that. We want to download some for free or create our own. To do that, we want to go to the links in the description. The first one will take you here. This is basically a big old website with tons of different Minecraft skin options. We also, however, have this tutorial in the description and this is the one i was talking about how to make a skin create a custom minecraft skin we have this in-depth tutorial text tutorial here and we have this in-depth video tutorial both are absolutely incredible and great and we'll show you how to create a skin using the minecraft skin editor here where you can do and draw and do whatever you want to with the skin you can do anything with this so after you have created your skin you will download your skin using this download button here it will download in the bottom left right like so however just to uh, make it look a bit better than just random lines and dots put on a skin we're going to download something here like a knight right so you can download a knight skin k i n i g h k n i g h t there we go <laughs> misspelling and we're going to go ahead and this one looks good i don't have any preference honestly for the knight that we use so i'm just going to go ahead and download this one this one will work perfectly fine um once we click on it there we go and we can click on the download button on the right hand side now again this is going to download just like any other skin, and you can find it on our website. Now, if you're on mobile, things are a bit different. It's a little more difficult to select your skin, but it is still possible. However, from here on Minecraft Windows Edition, which these will transfer to mobile, by the way, so if you have Windows Edition, these will log in. As far as I know, they'll link to your Minecraft account and be able to be used on mobile. But once we're here from the main menu, you want to go ahead and click on Dressing Room, and then you want to go ahead and Edit Character. Then, from here, it still looks like you can't use a custom skin, right? It just doesn't look like you can cover these styles and tops and all this stuff. It still looks like you can't use a custom skin. But what you can do is come over here to, like, this area, and then click on Owned, and then click on Import. Now, as you can see, I already have a skin chosen here. This is my custom skin. Now, one thing he says, import an image from your device. This will not sync to between devices and games. My bad. Players with custom skins will not be visible unless you have this trusted. So this skin right here won't be chosen unless they have the setting right over here. If we go into settings, and then we want to go into the custom skin settings, which I believe is going to be in profile. Yes, only allow trusted skins. If you have this enabled, you won't be able to see the skin we install here. And I do apologize, this does not transfer to mobile. I will check mobile here in one second. We'll do a tutorial on it. But first, let's go ahead and click on Dressing Room. And then we want to go ahead and click Edit Character. And then we want to go over here and again click on Owned. Click on the imported one, right like so. And there's a, like a plus button here if you don't have one imported already. And then click Choose New Skin. Then what we can do is go to our desktop where we'll have those skins in one second. Have to pull these from our downloads folder, by the way. And then we can go ahead and double click on the knight here. As you can see, it looks really, really good, right like so. You can select which skin type you want, basically the Alex or the Steve skin. And here we go. It is now in game. And if we jump into a quick little single player world here, or just jump into our test survival, you'll be able to see that the skin is in fact working. So that's how you can add a skin. Um, this is in creative, so let's go into game mode. Let's see, game mode survival really fast. And then if we hit E, we'll be able to see our character. And there we go, it is installed. Looking good. However, we aren't completely finished just yet. What we want to do is hop over to iOS, and I'll show you how to do this there, and the process on Android should be similar. All right, here we are on the skin decks. This is the exact same website we used before, except this is on iOS, it's on Safari. I found the skin I want in the exact same method, and when we're here, we're gonna click on download. And when you click on download, you don't wanna download it, you wanna click view, and then it's gonna open up like this. I know it looks like really weird, it's this weird image, right, like so, that's fine. Just go ahead and hard press on it, right, like so, and you should be able to save it. I zoomed in. That was my mistake. Click on it and you should be able to add to photos. Then we want to go ahead and jump over to Minecraft. Let's do that. 
So here we are in Minecraft, and just like on desktop, you do need to be logged in. Once you've signed into your Microsoft account, though, you can go ahead and click Dressing Room, and then from there, we want to go ahead and click Edit Character. Then we want to, again, come over here to this little button, click on Owned, and click Import. Then we want to go ahead and choose a new skin. So you're going to open up your, basically, iOS settings like this. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and select the skin you want, and it's going to open it in game. Choose the character model you want. Either one is perfectly fine. And then there you go. Now the skin is in game. If we go back to the main menu, we'll see there's the skin and of course we can jump in game and open up our inventory to see the skin as well all right so here we are in game as you can see looking good we can go ahead and open up and there we are on the right hand side in our new skin now again just like on you know basically any other minecraft bedrock edition you will have to come down here and go into the profile right here and make sure that I'll only allow trusted skins is unchecked and anyone who sees this will have to have that unchecked as well. Oddly enough on desktop that's not checked by default I don't think but on iOS it is so keep that in mind. But nevertheless thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content on Minecraft Java, Bedrock and basically any other those are the only two edition of Minecraft. We have so much awesome stuff coming up so be sure to subscribe for that. My name is Nick this has been The Breakdown and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.